How to register and legally use a pen name. Many writers choose to use a pen name for many reasons, including to protect their identity when writing a memoir or to write in different genres. There's no real legal process to using a pen name. Typically you can just pick one and use it. While most states have laws requiring people doing business under another name to register with the state, these laws generally don't apply to writers using pen names. However, you may want to register your pen name for trademark protection and be aware of the potential contractual and copyright consequences of creating work under an assumed name. Choosing your pen name. Brainstorm possibilities. If you don't already have a pen name in mind, come up with some possibilities that you can evaluate. You might want to choose a pen name that is related to your real name, or that reflects an event that happened in your life. Keep in mind that the pen name you choose will become a part of you. There will be people who know you and address you by that name, so it needs to be something with which you feel comfortable. The pen name you choose may depend to some extent on your reasons for choosing it. For example, if you write primarily literary fiction but want to write romance or erotic fiction under a different name, your pen name might have a flowery, romantic bent. When considering possible pen names, you also may want to keep in mind how anonymous you want to be. If you're not terribly concerned about people discovering your true identity, you might choose your middle name combined with a variation of your last name. However, if you want to take every step to ensure your real identity is undetectable, you want to pick a name as far removed from your legal name, or the names of those close to you, as possible. Keep in mind that the pen name you choose will become a part of you. There will be people who know you and address you by that name, so it needs to be something with which you feel comfortable. The pen name you choose may depend to some extent on your reasons for choosing it. For example, if you write primarily literary fiction but want to write romance or erotic fiction under a different name, your pen name might have a flowery, romantic bent. When considering possible pen names, you also may want to keep in mind how anonymous you want to be. If you're not terribly concerned about people discovering your true identity, you might choose your middle name combined with a variation of your last name. However, if you want to take every step to ensure your real identity is undetectable, you want to pick a name as far removed from your legal name, or the names of those close to you, as possible. Avoid famous names. Search carefully to make sure the pen name you've chosen isnt the name of a celebrity or historical figure. A pen name shared by a famous person not only creates a likelihood of confusion, but could get you into legal trouble for identity theft. Conduct initial searches of possible pen names online to find out if they're associated with a famous person you may not know. Keep in mind you're not just looking for celebrities, but also people who are well-known or important figures in their fields. Small differences probably won't make much difference if the famous person has a significant and renowned profile. For example, if you've chosen Maria de la Curie as a possible pen name, it may be too close to the name of famous scientist Marie Curie to work for you. Some last names, such as Hilton or Trump, are too well associated with famous people to work as a pen name, even if the first name is significantly different. Conduct initial searches of possible pen names online to find out if they're associated with a famous person you may not know. Keep in mind you're not just looking for celebrities, but also people who are well-known or important figures in their fields. Small differences probably won't make much difference if the famous person has a significant and renowned profile. For example, if you've chosen Maria de la Curie as a possible pen name, it may be too close to the name of famous scientist Marie Curie to work for you. Some last names, such as Hilton or Trump, are too well associated with famous people to work as a pen name, even if the first name is significantly different. Make sure your chosen name is available. Once you've chosen a good name, search for it on the internet and in various databases to confirm someone else isnt already using it. If there's already an author with the same name, readers will have difficulty distinguishing between you and you could run into problems trying to register the name. Bookstore websites are a good place to start. Search your pen name as an author name and see what comes up. If someone else is already using the same name, you should consider choosing something different. The U.S. Copyright Office has a searchable database of registered copyrights on its website that you can use. If the name comes up, this means other copyrighted works are registered under that name. Don't forget to do a general online search for the name, which could turn up social media accounts and other stories involving people with the same name. As long as the name ISNT shared by someone who also is a writer, your pen name may be good to go. However, you want to consider your ability to set up social media accounts under that name if it's a common name that others are using. You also want to carefully review any news articles that come up when you search your pen name. Pretend you're a reader trying to find out more information about your favorite author. Even if articles aren't really you, one of your readers wouldn't necessarily know that. 
For example, if you search your chosen name and find out a notorious killer in Michigan shares that same name, you may want to go with something else, even if you have never visited the state. The risk of confusion may not be worth it. Bookstore websites are a good place to start. Search your pen name as an author name and see what comes up. If someone else is already using the same name, you should consider choosing something different. The U.S. Copyright Office has a searchable database of registered copyrights on its website that you can use. If the name comes up, this means other copyrighted works are registered under that name. Don't forget to do a general online search for the name, which could turn up social media accounts and other stories involving people with the same name. As long as the name ISNT shared by someone who also is a writer, your pen name may be good to go. However, you want to consider your ability to set up social media accounts under that name if it's a common name that others are using. You also want to carefully review any news articles that come up when you search your pen name. Pretend you're a reader trying to find out more information about your favorite author. Even if articles aren't really you, one of your readers wouldn't necessarily know that. For example, if you search your chosen name and find out a notorious killer in Michigan shares that same name, you may want to go with something else, even if you have never visited the state. The risk of confusion may not be worth it. Conduct a trademark search. If you're planning on trademarking your chosen pen name, it's a good idea to go ahead and do a trademark search before you settle on the name. You won't be able to register it if someone else already has. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office USPTO has a searchable database of active and pending registrations on its website. In addition to searching for the specific PIN name you've chosen, you also want to search for similar names that could easily be confused with yours. Film, television, and video game companies frequently register trademarks for current and potential character names, particularly in popular and long-running franchises. If your name comes up under one of these registrations, you'll want to pick something different. Keep in mind that if your name comes up in the USPTO database, you probably want to choose a different name even if you don't plan on registering a trademark in the name. If a trademark is already registered by someone else, you run the risk of getting sued for trademark infringement if you use it. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office USPTO has a searchable database of active and pending registrations on its website. In addition to searching for the specific PIN name you've chosen, you also want to search for similar names that could easily be confused with yours. Film, television, and video game companies frequently register trademarks for current and potential character names, particularly in popular and long-running franchises. If your name comes up under one of these registrations, you'll want to pick something different. Keep in mind that if your name comes up in the USPTO database, you probably want to choose a different name even if you don't plan on registering a trademark in the name. If a trademark is already registered by someone else, you run the risk of getting sued for trademark infringement if you use it. Establish accounts under your PIN name. After you've cleared your chosen name and confirmed it's available for you to use, go ahead and create an email address under your PIN name and reserve the domain. You can claim a domain name relatively cheaply, even if you don't plan on creating a website for your PIN name yet. Create an email address using a free email service, or get an email address associated with your PIN name's domain through the company with which you registered the domain name. Go ahead and claim social media account names on popular social media sites you think you might use. You'll need social media accounts to market and publicize your writing, and it's a good idea to get the initial setup out of the way even if you don't think you'll need them for a while. You can claim a domain name relatively cheaply, even if you don't plan on creating a website for your pen name yet. Create an email address using a free email service, or get an email address associated with your pen name's domain through the company with which you registered the domain name. Go ahead and claim social media account names on popular social media sites you think you might use. You'll need social media accounts to market and publicize your writing, and it's a good idea to get the initial setup out of the way even if you don't think you'll need them for a while. Consider adding a layer of protection. If your purpose in using a pen name is to keep your real identity from being discovered, you may want to consider creating a corporation or LLC to use for registrations that will become a matter of public record. Arizona is the only state that allows the creation of an anonymous LLC, and the process is rather complex and requires hiring an attorney. However, even if the LLC is in your name, anyone trying to discover your identity would have to find the LLC documents in the database of the state in which you formed your LLC. It's not a foolproof way of concealing your identity, but it does provide an extra layer of protection. Otherwise, your legal name would be clearly displayed on any documents for copyright or trademark registration, which are public records. Arizona is the only state that allows the creation of an anonymous LLC, and the process is rather complex and requires hiring an attorney. However, even if the LLC is in your name, anyone trying to discover your identity would have to find the LLC documents in the database of the state in which you formed your LLC. It's not a foolproof way of concealing your identity, but it does provide an extra layer of protection.
Otherwise, your legal name would be clearly displayed on any documents for copyright or trademark registration, which are public records.